Dr. Kidero, kindly. Your Excellency, the President of our Republic of Kenya, our Cabinet Secretaries, Principal Secretaries, the Secretary General of Kotu, Brother Atuoli, our former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga, uh, diplomats uh, present, ladies and gentlemen, I will make very, very few remarks. Uh, first, I would like to congratulate Kotu for celebrating 50 years uh, since formation. Your Excellency, the history of the labor movement of Kenya would not be complete without remembering where we've come from. Starting with the initial many, many uh, labor unions which were present, then came under one umbrella in 1952, under, as the first leader, the late Thomas Joseph Mboya, who was succeeded uh, in 1963 by Peter Kibisu. When court was formed in 1965, the first Secretary General, uh, Clement Lubembe, was on till 1969. He was succeeded by Dennis Akumu, who was there until 1975. Between 1975 and 1984 was Juma Boy, and 84 to 86 was Justus Mulei, 86 to 2001 was Joseph Mugala, 2001 to date is the inevitable Francis Atuoli, the longest serving Secretary General. Your Excellency, on such days, what the workers will be waiting for and what Brother Tuoli has talked about is minimum wage. But I do not think, Your Excellency, this is sufficient because despite wage increase year on year, a lot of these workers cannot afford to take their children to the schools which they would like their kids to attend. A lot of these workers cannot treat themselves if they fall ill. So what the Kenyan workers need, Your Excellency, is a restate, restatement of how our economy is managed. We are aware that despite the restatement and we are in the middle income economy, 90% of the gross domestic product is earned by only 4% of the Kenyan population. And the bottom 20% only earn 4% of the economy. So Your Excellency, what the central government needs to do together with the county government is to relook at the social justice system and social equity so that a majority of the workers can be able to take their kids to the schools they can afford to take their, uh, their kids to, and also a majority of the workers can be able to be treated when they are sick. Of course, this is in addition to being able to be remunerated for the work they do. I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for joining us today. And with those few remarks, I would like to invite uh, the Cabinet Secretary for uh, the Acting Cabinet Secretary for Labor, Madam Rachel Omamo, to come and make her remarks and then invite you. Thank you very much.